Digital Trends Mobile World Congress coverage is presented by Virgin Mobile. Hi, this is Andy for digitaltrends.com, and I'm outside Neonode stand at Mobile World Congress, a company you may not have heard of, but they've got an interesting infrared proximity technology that's well worth a look. Sorry. Yeah, this is a reference design for uh, people that want to build cases for mobile phones. So we provide this uh, with the building material, uh, software, hardware, okay. so you can build cases at a very low cost as an accessory to a mobile phone. But it could be built into the phone? Of course. So we have uh, actually announced one customer today that's going to do that. So building it into, but of course there's a lot of products on the market where you can extend the lifetime of that product with new features instead of buying a new one. So in this case it's an iPhone 4 and the touch really comes outside of the device like this. And how does it come out, out the side? What sort of um, proximity so sensor is it? Uh, using our uh, silicon projecting light in this direction and it's using some specific optics to be developed to get the resolution. So for example I can, I can have a, a, a bar like this, a very high resolution on this. But I can also use uh, as like a multi-touch. <laughs> and uh, I can also like playing a game, for example. So I have a... I I'm playing on a computer here now. And this also you can take off. So you can take off this casing and uh, I can use it uh, with Bluetooth. So I can put it here. Like a, so it's communicating with the device. So it's still linked by Bluetooth? Yeah, so we're using a low power Bluetooth uh, protocol. It's a very low latency, and so it's very responsive yeah. Yeah, for gaming, but also a lot of other applications. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you very much.